to know what drugs really cost today. I think it's a really big problem. And Santo Leo says he has the fix to these outrageous drug prices. Low cost prescriptions you can order online. So it's $48.32 today for that prescription drug. From this sparkling new Boca Raton facility and ship straight to your front door. This place is massive. He calls his new business MailMyPrescriptions.com. You're getting the same drugs that you would get at your local pharmacy through us. The only difference is you're paying our wholesale price versus what you're currently paying at retail markup. And Leo says that savings can be huge for your wallet. By wiping the corner pharmacy and the insurers out of the equation, Leo can sell brand name and generic prescriptions at healthy discounts and offer thousands more of them. But you will have to pay a membership fee $5 a month plus a $4 shipping charge. I like to call it Costco meets Amazon Prime because we're, we're, we're offering the product at such a low cost, Costco, and Amazon Prime for membership, you're going to get that, that flat rate shipping fee and unlimited usage of it. Were you skeptical before you started? Sure, you're always skeptical of something new, something out of the box that you've never done before. But Joel Nyberg isn't skeptical anymore. He vows he's not an investor, just a recent loyal convert to mail my prescriptions. How much were you used to pay and how much are you paying now? One of my prescriptions, for example, I was paying $270 a month for a 30 day supply for one of my heart medications. Now I'm paying $70 a month for a 90 day supply. So to see if these savings are real, we picked four popular prescriptions and compared the prices at mailmyprescriptions.com to a similar membership program at Walgreens. And take a look, Mail My Prescriptions did undercut Walgreens prices. For the thyroid medicine Synthroid, the savings is about $32. For a Ventolin inhaler, Mail My Prescriptions beat Walgreens by $6. And Mail My Prescriptions also sells two drugs, Crestor and Nexium, that are not even available through the Walgreens discount program. Still, not everyone's 100% sold on the idea of an online pharmacy. My main reservation is the lack of face-to-face -face care. Dr. Erin Dorval is a professor at the Gregory School of Pharmacy in West Palm Beach. She believes an online service will offer lower prices, but she's concerned that patients will lose that face-to-face -face care. Pharmacists that are in a store are able to ask patients much more information versus a patient going online and submitting their information. But everyone agrees that drug prices are out of control and something's got to give. We really haven't reinvented the pharmacy experience. We've reinvented drug pricing. We're transparent. And if you have insurance, pharmacists recommend double checking what drugs your plan covers. Coverage can change year to year. Mark Kelly, WPBF 25 News.